Uh, so some of the other best practices that um, have come, come up uh, in my experience, and most recently they were actually with uh, uh, over in Barrow Beach with the uh, Bike Walk Indian River County. Uh, the first one, and this actually came from one of their board meetings, uh, they were trying to find a way of uh, notifying public works about road uh, issues, if there was a pothole or something that needed to be fixed. And they had asked me if we knew a way of uh, best practice for that. And what I've noticed here in Pinellas County, because it's being used by the city of St. Petersburg and others, is this is a separate third party vendor called C Clip Fix. And they have a web tool and an app and I don't know the specifics of how the city works with it. I think though that you could share this with your city if you're not using it. Uh, but it's a matter of if an individual sees something, they can use this app and it gets reported directly to whoever's in charge of that piece and they can put it and document it uh, on their work schedule. So just a general question, is anybody in the, uh, for, Anybody seen this in their area? I don't know, Jason, if you've got it over in Daytona. No, I just, I, I try to, I either email public works by email or tweet at the city, <laughs> but I, don't, I wish I had something like this. Maybe they do and I don't know about it. Well, and I can tell you when, when um, the president of Indian River County bike, the bike walk, Hugh Aaron, uh, I shared this with him and he got right on the phone with them and asked him questions and then he put it back to his public works as far as maybe we could look into this. I haven't heard about the resolve. I have no idea what the, what the cost structure is. Uh, I haven't spoke to anybody in the city of St. Pete uh, with, with their ability to use it, but um, being used in Sarasota County. So Rich, I'm not sure if you've ever had to use this over there in Sarasota. I've used it a couple times. It's easy to use. You know, the trouble, Becky, is, you know, when you're riding in a group ride, you just can't stop and take a picture and, you know, futz with your phone and then try to catch up and get back. So it's been it's been of little loose to, use to us unless I'm out riding by myself and I see a pothole or I see, you know, a dangerous situation. But it is there and it does work and uh, we are getting feedback from it. Okay. Yeah, so for anybody that struggles with that, uh, Jason, if you're in a relationship with your public works, but if you're hearing broader, like maybe it is uh, David, the Florida freewheelers are looking for something to kind of do in certain areas, I uh, would look into this. Um, again, it's had some success over here in Pinellas County and in Hillsborough County. So that was one. Does that of, sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Does that work for like the paved trails as well? If like you saw I, something wrong with the trail? I, it really, it's a matter of um, the municipality in charge. So if the city of St. Pete has this as part of uh, the trail system that they man maintain, then it's just a matter of how you fill that, that report out. What I do know is because once they start using the system, direct phone calls won't work. You're gonna be asked to use the system because it's a documentation process. Uh, but that's a good question, and I can certainly ask Lucas Cruz over in the city of St. Pete if it does pertain to the trails. Uh, some trail systems have rangers that you can report that kind of stuff to, but it is one of those one-stop shop mechanisms that can be used in municipalities to report these types of instances. So I just wanted to put that out there. If you hadn't heard of it, uh, it is something that perhaps you and your city or municipality can look into as far as uh, the documentation and getting those things taken care of. And then the next best practice, and I probably won't have time to bring this up on my web uh, website, but Bike Walk Indian River County, and this is a screenshot of their homepage, but they have that little column at the bottom there that says, need a bike. And what Bike Walk Indian River County is doing is they have a system of distributing uh, refurbished bicycles. And they actually offer the bike safety courses for anybody in that program. And they actually have to pass that bicycle safety quiz in order to get that bike. But they're working with uh, air, uh, partners in the county that uh, help them with the distribution and documentation. And it's one of those things that goes beyond what some do with regards to the holidays and giving out bicycles to children. 
it's actually more of a program for homeless and adults, but they can do it for children. In fact, I think they were looking towards uh, offering mechanic workshops to teach the, the younger students how to fix a bike, uh, and then they can earn a bike through that process. But this is actually uh, one of a few that I have seen in my travels as far as documenting it and utilizing that bicycle safety quiz. So uh, I don't know if anybody else has anything like this in their area. Uh, you might want to chime in on this. I haven't seen here, I haven't seen that. There is a, a lady here who I, um, who I have contact with who does that kind of thing. She, she takes bike donations, refurbishes them up and then supplies whoever um, needs a bike uh, with, a, with a, a refurbished, ready to go bicycle. So it might be something that maybe she could tie into bike walk. I'll, I'll reach out to her and see if she's got an interest in. Well, it's, a, it's actually a system of programming. You have a homeless coalition in downtown Orlando right. that has a level of this with regards to uh, teaching how to repair bikes, giving bikes out to the homeless, but they actually have to qualify for that. And right. they have to bring their bike once they earn it. They have to bring it back every time they meet with their sponsor. So that, that's a kind of a guarantee that they're not earning a bike and then selling it uh, right. for purposes. So there are little things like that that are around, but I know some, some groups around the state struggle with it. I've actually been a big proponent of what's the next step. It's great to hand out a bike or a helmet, but what's the next step? Can you have a program that teaches education and knowing that online is a quiz you could actually utilize? Uh, can we lean more towards that? Because giving that bicycle to an adult gives them a means of transportation, but do they understand the traffic laws? Right. And that, I think that should tie in with, with that. They shouldn't just be handed a bike. It should be the education that goes with. It should be a hand-in-hand -hand thing. And this is where Bike Walk Indian River County offers that safety course and then that quiz to get the bike. So they've kind of combined all of it into a package. And again, I welcome everybody to go to their website and just start clicking through the need a bike because it's a big program. There's a lot of different partners involved. It's documented uh, the number of bikes that they've referred, who they go to, how many people have passed the course and the quizzes. Uh, but it seems to be a system that works and uh, Indian River County is one of those counties that kept the bike pet education in schools and does not have a fatality rate that the rest of the state sees with regards to bike pet crashes. So just, just saying it's working in the state and uh, it possibly could work in other places in the state. So Becky, you mentioned it briefly, but they did this mentoring ship program this year, which is new where we're bringing in um, students who we train on the bicycles, how to maintain them, how to repair them. And like I say, then they earn a bicycle and we're hoping to expand that even further by possibly even setting up uh, some bike spare parts in the areas where the people live, where they'd most use it. So that's a growing program that uh, apparently was very successful. There's a lot of happy campers out there who came to this program over a series of weeks, learned how to uh, maintain bicycles and build up a bicycle from parts. Uh, it's pretty impressive. So 